Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to our third week of Kit Conspiracy. This is my second layout for this particular collection, which is Good Vibrations from Pretty Little Studio. And I am trying to make as many layouts as I can this week using this particular collection. And I went back and forth on this one, but I ended up cutting out the packaging that shows all of the papers so they had all of these small squares that shows the papers and I cut out the ones that I could without using or sacrificing the other images on the reverse side which were those little um, circular elements that I just showed on the screen and there were also some labels so I, I pulled what I could and I ended up being able to make a grid design now it's not a complete grid because uh, the the grid does not actually extend underneath the photos, which is fine. Um, you can't tell that. And then obviously some of my other pieces are small, which is totally fine. And I know it's probably a little bit weird that I've only used one piece of paper and I'm already using packaging for my layout. Um, but I really didn't want to cut into my other full sheets without knowing what I was going to do with them to create this design. And uh, when I originally was doing the kit share i think i said i was probably going to use the opposite side which is all those warm colors in kind of like a watercolor um, design it's got like the orange in the corner and the pink in the bottom but then i end up using the rainbow side and um i you know i just think they worked better with these particular photos and that is me and some other gals on the monkey bars in front of our our house probably for a birthday party or something to that effect. Um, and I don't even know the names of all of the girls in there. Uh, these photos are super old. So um, I am just going to go ahead and use them as they are. And uh, these are reprints because I ended up scan having my husband scan, which I mean, I could have done that myself, but um, he's got the scanner set up on his computer already. And I haven't done that yet. But uh, he's got it set up, so I was like, can you just scan these for me real quick? Which he did, which was great. <laughs> and so uh, I had these photos, and I printed them a little larger than what they would have been because they started out as like those smaller, I, I'm not exactly sure what the size is. They're, I don't know, a little bit bigger than 3 by 3 And then I zoomed in, which actually removed several of the kids out of the photo. And that's totally fine since I didn't know who some of them were anyway. Um, and then uh, printed them on my selfie. And I'm, I like the way that it, they came out. And so I'm pretty happy with that. And these are just the monkey bars that used to be in front of our house when I was a little kid. Um, they are no longer there. The yard looks completely different. Um, and that's okay. And I don't mind that there's a big blank space at the top of this photo on the left-hand side because that's where I'm going to put this title that just says Wildflower, which I know uh, there are no wildflowers on this photograph, but I don't feel like that has to be too super literal. I feel like, you know, a person can be a wildflower too, just um, beautiful and a little wild in their own way. And uh, so that's what I'm, I'm calling this. And then I decided I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of um, embellishment pieces. I am inking everything up with some black soot distress ink. At the very end, you will see that I have gone back and actually matted my photos in black, which is going to help this layout quite a bit. And then I'm going to use a sewing machine and do a little stitching all the way around the outside of the layout, which also uh, helps this layout, just gives it some dark elements and a place for your eye to rest. And I'm pretty happy with the way that it came out. Um, it it's really colorful, but that's okay. I like it. And that's all that matters, right? Um, so hopefully you get a little bit of inspiration on this and think a little bit uh, a little bit outside the box. And don't forget that there is definitely packaging that you can use for um, your layouts. So with regard to the stitching, I also do a, um, a bit of stitching around the outside of those grid papers and I like the way that they look and then I'm going to do a little bit of stitching on some of those embellishment pieces and all of my stitching will be in black so it's going to just bring in some darker elements again giving your eye a little bit of a pl place to rest even though there's they're just small um, 
maybe I shouldn't say a, a place for your eye to rest. It gives a little bit of differentiation in the different layers since there are a lot of bold colors in this particular collection. So I'm making good use of labels on this, which is kind of interesting because I don't know what I'm going to say about this. I have a vague memory of, of being on the monkey bars and hanging like this, but I don't remember anything about what was going on. So I'm not really 100% sure. Um, I am quite certain it was a birthday because they're given the girls that are, or the kids that are over, um, I would not have probably had this large of a group over for anything else. And so I'm guessing it's for a birthday, especially since there's a few girls in there that I don't really know who they are. They were probably classmates of mine at the time. So really old photos. Um, I'm trimming down some of the white border on some of these pieces because I don't really like a, a, a large white border on the ephemera and so I like to trim that down that is totally up to you if you want to do that or not again I'm inking them up with some black soot distress ink and I did have to fussy cut out that circular piece that says half uh, have fun out of this paper it's actually part of the packaging that I didn't want to use up um, that has the pictures of the papers on the back side of it so I, I did sacrifice that little a uh, portion of the packaging so that I didn't use it for the grid. I just used it for the circular bits. Um, and I am using one of those on this layout. So it'll be interesting to see what I actually fill up this writing with. Maybe it'll be just about my uh, journey on the mon monkey bars and um, the play playground set that we had in our front yard. Um, maybe not going to say a whole lot about the people who are there or anything like that because I don't really like I said have a whole lot of recollection so here's a good close-up of the stitching that I did and I'm really liking the way that that just adds a little bit of extra texture to this layout and then I am going to add a little black splatter in uh, my embellishment clusters just to give a little bit more of a a little bit more interest to the layout so I thought I would stop there and that was going to be the end of it, but the longer it sat on my desk with this ink drying, which is just some black marble dilutions ink spray, um, th that's when I decided I needed something to make those photos pop because there's a lot of white in the sky and they were kind of just blending into the background with this paper having uh, primarily a white background and just having those like almost pinstripe lines on it to make the, the rainbows. So I did pop everything up. Um, luckily, these were put down, weren't put down with a bunch of liquid glue. And I did have to kind of make it fit in that bottom corner because the embellishments down there were, were adhered with some liquid glue. So I had to kind of account for that. But um, I just took the paper over to my trimmer and trimmed it down to the right size. And then I'll add a little bit of adhesive to the paper. Uh, both sides of that black paper so that it sticks to the background and it sticks to the photograph. And that's when I'm going to call it done. Um, while I finish that up, don't forget to go check out what MK is doing over on her channel. I don't know if she's got a layout for you today or not, but uh, it's likely that she does because we've both been kind of putting out way more than we uh, actually committed to, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of, for posting, but um, we've been putting out more. So go and see what she's got over on her channel and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, and I will get back to you if you leave any comments down below that you might have. It takes me a couple of days, but I do respond to all of them and read all of them. And I do appreciate every time you guys leave a comment. I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.